a question came up on the email list recently. How do you do a timestamp into a log file? Well, there's a couple different ways you could do that. One way is, of course, to use the standard DOS time and date commands. And so FreeDOS has, uh, for example, time, and that'll generate the, the current time, and it'll prompt you for a new time. Let's we'll return to get out of that. Same thing for date. If I do date, that tells you today's date and then prompts you for today's date. If I didn't want to uh, be prompted for anything, I can just do, uh, for example, date slash T, and that'll just print out the current date without any prompt. Same thing for time, time slash T will print the current time. And I could just do uh, date slash T into some file that TXT, and then I can do time slash T and append that to the file dot TXT. And then if I type the file dot TXT, I can see the current date and time that that was entered. But, you know, it's not quite the same as entering just a, a plain timestamp. So one way you could do that is by writing a very simple program. Let's go ahead and write a very simple program. We'll call it now. So now dot C. So I'm going to do use a, uh, a very simple program here using open Watcom. So I'm going to do include uh, standard IO and that's to be able to print output. And I'm going to be using some DOS functions to get the date and time. And so to do that, I need to do an include DOS dot H. And then my simple program is an int main I'm not going to take any options, and so I'll just have an empty list there. And then I'm going to use a uh, structure uh, for the DOS date, and I'll just make a variable called date. And same thing for uh, a structure for the time, for the DOS time, uh, and I'll call that one time. And then I'm going to just then get the date, the time. So I'll do a call to DOS get date and then put that into the DT variable and same thing for the DOS get time and put that into the TM variable. And I'll, now it's just a matter of printing out the output. So I'm gonna do a printf on some values. And so the I'm gonna print the year, the month and the day. And so that'll be a percent D as a decimal or an integer, percent D and then percent D. And so that'll I'll print out the year, the month, and the day. But I also want to print out the hour, the minute, and the seconds. And of course, I want to make sure that's zero padded. So I'm going to do percent dot two D and then colon and then percent dot two D and then colon and then percent dot two D. And that'll give me the hour, the minutes, and the second zero padded. And of course, that's all I need. So I'll do a new line there. And then I needed to have the year, the month, and the day. So I'll do the DT and then the element of year. And the same thing for the month. So DT month and then DT day. And so that's going to match the uh, up here, the percent D, percent D, percent D right there. That's going to be the year, the month, and the day. And I also wanted to print out the time. And so I'm going to do that as TM uh, hour. TM minute and then TM second. And that's all I need to do there. I'll just go ahead and return back to the operating system. Let's go ahead and save this program. Quit. Now I need to, need to compile the program. So WCL now.c will now generate program. So no errors on that compile. So I can just print now. And that prints out a a timestamp that shows what today is. And so I'll just do uh, now into a new file.txt. That'll overwrite the file that I already had. And then I'll type out the contents of file.txt. So a very simple way to generate a timestamp in a log file, just a very uh, short program. So what do you think about that video? Do you want to see uh, other videos like this? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. I really appreciate every single one of you. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I want to thank you again, especially here for that. Visit our website at freedas.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Mastodon. And consider supporting me on Patreon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out with the channel. Thank you.